Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. I think that this article that I'm going to read in this video will not surprise anybody, but will give us some details on that S-300 missile that somehow got from uh, Ukraine into Belarus, as it got into Poland from uh, uh, Ukraine a month or so back. Uh, that could be a provocation and uh, trying to draw Belarus in. The Ukrainians did not deny that uh, the missile you know, came from their territory yet, and they requested to be uh, uh, allowed to participate in the investigation. Something that, if you remember, other countries were not allowed in the Polish investigation which was Ukraine. Why? Because it was a matter of NATO. That, that showed where Ukraine... The U Ukrainians sent their investigators over there, but supposedly the Ukrainian investigators were not allowed to be on site and to be part of the investigation. Why? Because it seemed like the matter was too serious to allow the Ukrainians to bullshit themselves in there. Okay? Uh, because Ukrainians, the first things, thing they did when that fell in uh, Polish, on per Polish territory and killing two people, said Russia did it, NATO should attack Russia. Now, and NATO said, hold on, hold on, the bullshit is too big. Let's see how we can uh, calm down a little bit here. We don't want to get in a real hot war with Russia. We like to be at a distance having other people die for. <clears throat> we don't want to get anything, no bruises here, okay? Now, it seems like the Ukrainians do the same thing now with Belarus, who I said on many occasions has no advantage, doesn't benefit Russia or Belarus from getting themselves inside the war or in the war. And uh, I don't uh, see this being an impossible uh, scenario, which I think is the most probable scenario, accidental or a provocation to have those guys invade, declaring it an attack and so on. We'll see if the Belarusians are capable of holding their horses back. This article comes from Al Mayedin, which is an Arab media outlet, independent. <laughs> they don't like the kosher guys, but it's independent. All right. I, why? Because I read it every day. I go over the Jerusalem Post, I go over this one, I go some other uh, Jewish uh, um, media outlets, so I, I see more than one angle on the issues. Well, what articles I choose to uh, discuss, it's a different story based on the bullshit these guys are throwing at us. Now, this article, as I said, is from today, the 30th of December 2022. This is the title. Ukrainian missile unlikely fired by accident, Belarusian official claims. State Secretary of the Belarusian Security Council, Alexander Volfovich. Volfovich, that's from Wolf, I'm guessing. Mm, any German uh, ancestry over there? When the Nazis went, they came back. So Volfovich tells Sputnik that the probability that S-300 missile flew to Belarus by accident is very low. So, no. The Ukrainian S-300 missile that was fired Thursday by Ukrainian armed forces on Belarusian territory might be part of someone's plan, State Secretary of Belarusian Security Council Alexander Volfovich told Sputnik on Friday. You can c control everybody over there. Sometimes you have people that, you know, they have their own uh, uh, motives, reasons, and uh, they are paid by uh, other actors that are not the main actor actors. You never know, and we're not going to be told unless someone is going to do a really, really good investigation and find the details in a book that's going to be buried somewhere. And I'm quoting, Kiev seeks to provoke a regional conflict by any means. It is not enough for Ukraine to have a war on its own territory. An example of this is the recent incident with the destruction of a Ukrainian S-300 missile. We will establish the reason for its fall on our territory, but the probability that it flew to us by accident is very low. Apparently, someone's plan is being realized here, Volfovich said. 
He added that Warsaw showed reluctance to discuss regional security issues related to the fall of the missile in Belarus. Following the incident, the Belarusian Foreign Ministry summoned Ihor Kizim, the Ukrainian ambassador to Minsk, and demanded a thorough investigation into the incident. Belarusian Foreign Ministry spokesman Anatoly Glaz said, adding that the ministry asked to bring those responsible to justice <laughs> and take comprehensive me measures so that such events do not occur, reoccur. Yeah, right. <laughs> bring it to justice. The Ukrainians going to say, yeah, it's uh, Jimmy, Tom and uh, Gigi. <laughs> what world these guys live in? But I think they have to, you know, because that remains as a record. And then when they look back and say, see, we asked you, you're criminals, but you didn't bring anybody to, to justice and you ask us to show up in court? No, we won't because you didn't. That's the whole weasel game. And I'm quoting, as you know, the Belarusian Air Defense Forces shot down a Ukrainian S-300 missile over the territory of Belarus today. This is a very serious in incident and Belarus takes this issue as seriously as possible. <coughs> Excuse me. In this regard, the Belarusian Foreign Ministry summoned the Ukrainian ambassador to Belarus, Ihor Kizim, today and expressed its strong protest to him. Uh, Glaz, Glaz told reporters, and Kizim said, <laughs> basically. Belarusian Foreign Ministry spokesman Anatoly Glaz said, it is necessary to wait for the end of the investigation to determine if it was a case of deliberate provocation. And you will do nothing. You're just gonna claim it, send it to whatever those guys are gonna say, we don't believe your investigation and that's gonna be dead. And you're gonna use it to, as a counter argument that it was not gonna be valid because they say that's a lie and how things go. And I'm quoting, an investigation is underway now. There is no exact information to date. An investigative, investigative team is working, end quote. Glazov said, answering a question about whether the incident was an act of provocation or just an accident now. To be fair, Mr. Glozin and Blozin and Baba Lozin, Mr. Um, Belarusian uh, defense and whatever you are, to be honest, I have a few questions. One, is it true that Russian bombers take off from your territory and release their missiles into Ukraine? Uh, yes. It is true that you have troops that attack from send uh, uh, what uh, ground to ground or whatever you, you, you call it. I can't remember right now the, the, the terminology uh, in, in, uh, on your territory, which is the Russians bombarding our territory from your territory. Uh, yes. So then a strike two. And we have one incident, um, how should I put it, uh, deliberate or accidental, and you make such a fucking fuss? Are you kidding me? And besides, if you allow these weasels, the Russians, to use your territories, you don't expect us to try to destroy them over there? No. Okay, then, uh, and your honor, no more questions for the uh, main uh, witness, <laughs> the star witness. So that's how things are. So you gotta be a little bit uh, fair. So even if this guy, he, he seems to be like, oh, it's a provocation. What are you talking about? Look at what you're doing. You know, I mean, in, to be, you know, to look at it fair, in a fair way. You talk about having a one missile flying into your territory, but from your territory, those guys that we are at war, uh, blow a lot of uh, missiles and rockets. Is that, uh -huh? I mean, come on. But anyway, you know how it works in a kindergarten like this. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.